Uh, I really love it when we get our Indiana High students in with us, all of our school students, no matter where they're from, into the studio. We've not been able to do that, and everybody knows why. Nonetheless, we do still have our school visits, and Indiana Senior High Principal Wade McElhenney is on the line with us. We've got others who will be joining us during the course of this conversation. Principal McElhenney, good morning. Good morning, Todd. How are you? Wonderful. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. So you've got a pretty big roster ahead of us today, huh? We do. We do. We have a, uh, quite a list, some uh, different individuals coming on, uh, teachers and perhaps some students, if we can do the conference calls uh, mm-hmm. correctly. And we're looking forward to it. Uh, we have uh, two students, uh, Quinn Martineau and Tegan Merriman, from our leadership class with Ms. Devin Duffy. They will be on featuring some of the activities that they are doing. We also have our IHS drama teacher, Leah Lyons. She'll be coming on. Our athletic director, Greg Lozanik. And also we have our art teacher, Ms. Beth Porter, mm-hmm. talking about some of her community service art projects that she has her kids involved in. Right All right. Now. Well, we have Quinn and Keegan on the line. Excellent. Well, if I don't get to talk to you, Todd, happy Thanksgiving to you and all your listeners. And to you as well. Let's get to Quinn and Keegan with us here this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful. It's good to be with you here today. Now, you're both students, right? Yes. Okay, so tell us what's going on with you. Well, we're both active members in IHS Senior Leadership, and this uh, month we've been particularly working on domestic violence awareness. Mm-hmm. Um, which happens to take place during the month of October, but there's never a bad time to talk about it, especially during this pandemic. Yeah, yeah, you're right about that. So are there special activities going on at the school for that? Yes, we actually have a few different initiatives. We've broken things up into groups. There's a PSA group, uh, which is in charge of making videos, and then there's also a donation drive group, which is working in uh, trying to benefit the Alice Paul House, whose mission is to promote awareness of domestic violence, sexual assault, and victimization in our community. And then we also have a t-shirt group who produce really cute t-shirts for everyone in our school, Mm -hmm. as well as silicone bracelets. Okay. That sounds like a pretty ambitious activity schedule. It is. We've Mm -hmm. been very busy. Well, that's good to know. Keegan, you there? Yeah. Hi. Hi, good to talk with you as well. What have you for us today? Could you say that again? I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just wondering uh, what, what you have to contribute to the conversation this morning. Oh, yeah. So I am the head of the Donation Drive group, and we've been working really hard. Um, it actually got pushed back due to some, like, there were issues with sanitary reasons, people bringing stuff into the school, and we were planning on having a donation box outside of the school, but with winter weather and everything, we decided to push that back to the next available opportunity. Um, but we've already had a few students bring stuff in before that got kind of deterred. And we were really close to finishing and having everything set up. But So we're looking forward to whenever we can really get that going again. Absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing with us this morning. We appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye now. Let's move on to Leah Lyons, who normally we see Leah when it's still dark outside because she brings in a whole bunch of students uh, for for the latest dramatic or or musical or whatever the presentation is from the uh, theater department. Leah, good morning to you. Good morning. I'm here with Avery Olinchek, one of my drama officers. Wonderful. Wonderful. Hi, Avery. Hi, how are you? Wonderful. It's good to have you both with us today. So what's going on? I know that it's it's different for you just like it is for everybody, but uh, in the drama department, uh, is it uh, dramatically different? Get it? Dramatically? Uh, yes, it is. Very good. Yes, so we are doing a show that's called Pared Down, A Night of Duet Scenes. And what we did is all of our scenes only have two students in them, and they are socially distanced, and we film them. And we have some amazing students who are going to ICTC for um, digital media production. So we are getting to utilize their skills and uh, to work on the editing of putting all of these separate scenes together for one night of shows for you. Wonderful. Now, how's it going to happen? How can people see it? All right. So we have a website that you can buy a streaming pass on, and it is ihs.booktix, spelled B-O-O-K-T-I-X. 
com, and we have two different passes. Um, we have the single stream pass, which is seven fifty, and the family stream pass, which is fifteen dollars. So if you have more than one person viewing it or a family, because you'll get sent one link, it'd be a better deal to get the fifteen dollar pass, and that'll be streamed to you on Saturday, December fifth at seven p.m. And you'll just click the link in your email, and you'll be able to view the show. Beautiful, beautiful. That, who came up with that idea? It was a collective effort. Um, we had to really look into different ways that we would still be able to perform, but um, safety was at the forefront of our minds. And so we're giving this a try this time around, and um, maybe next time we will change it up a little bit so we can get more students involved. Um, but we are learning every step of the way. We even had to do auditions differently. Um, for auditions, we had digital auditions mm -hmm. where myself, um, a stage manager, and then Avery and another student, we were all on a Google Meet. And so Avery and uh, one of our other officers, Justin, they served as the scene readers. The stage manager would prompt the student to log into the Google Meet, and they would do a scene virtually. And that's how we did our auditions. That's Very true. different from how we normally do it. Yeah, tremendous. But now how badly do you miss actually coming in here at 6 o'clock in the morning and doing your show? Avery was just talking about that. She said, Mrs. Lyons, I'm more awake now than I normally am for our <laughs> early morning business to talk. <laughs> well, we're glad you're able to put on some sort of show, and we'll look forward to that day when we can get you back in to visit with us again. Yes, we cannot wait. All right. So give us the details once more. For somebody who wants to watch the show, what do they need to do? Sure. So you're going to go to ihs.bookticks, B-O-O-K-T-I-X.com. There you can buy a screening pass for Saturday, December 5th at 7 p.m. A single pass is $7.50, and a family pass is $15. You can also follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Indiana SH Drama for all of the details. It's good stuff. Thank you both for being with us this morning. Thank you so Thank you. much. Have a great day. You as well. All righty. Let's move on to this uh, this fellow, Lozanic. Greg Lozanic is the athletic director. He's also the basketball coach, and he joins us as we continue our Indiana Senior High schedule here this morning. Greg, good morning to you. Good morning, Todd. How's everybody doing over there? Um, for those who are left around here, you know, it's like tumbleweeds in the hallways, but uh, that's that's not unusual this time of the year, is it? It is not. <laughs> hey, we had the PIAA with their meeting yesterday, and they offered their guidance as we have winter sports uh, practices getting underway starting tomorrow. Uh, do you uh, have a, a reaction to what the PIAA said? Well, it's nice that we, we are going forward with winter sports, Todd. Uh, yeah, the fear was that they would delay them or offer a hybrid model, you know, like they did in the fall. Mm -hmm. um, some schools are opting to do that on their own but uh you know i, I you know the, one of the quotes i read from uh, dr lombardi the, the executive director of the piaa was well, the one thing they learned they being the piaa in the fall was they wanted to start winter sports november 20th uh to get as many days in as we can that sounds like a doomsday you know kind of prediction but i look at it on the positive side because before contests can be played before we can play sports we need 15 practice days mm -hmm. so what so even if they would delay the start till january 1st you'd still have to have 15 practice days in so i i think the hope is we can get these schools to get the practice days in and then play it uh unfortunately day to day after that yeah i like the phrase that he used set the foundation i, I think yes. that, that's pretty good Yes, yes, it, it, it was, and and uh, and so I, I I think we all know you know where he's coming from. Just the uncertainty. I mean, uh, you know, here in Indiana, in, in the athletic office, you know, we're already rescheduling contests, and uh, uh, there's a little bit of uh, oh, put it this way, uh, the days go quickly with all the stuff we have to do right now. Yeah. Okay, basketball. Of course, uh, you've got uh, your basketball team ready to get on the floor tomorrow. You looking forward to it? I am. You know, uh, it's hard to believe this will be year 28 for me. Uh, not all in Indiana, obviously. You know, we, you and I go way back. But, yeah. uh, you know, if you're not looking forward to tomorrow, it's definitely uh, time to get out. And, uh, you know, I only have uh, five guys that are returning from last year's team total. Uh, wow. uh, only one really returning letterman with any kind of experience. Uh, uh, but you know what? Um, 
I've got a great bunch of kids, very, very green, no basketball experience. Some of them haven't been out for basketball for a year or two, uh, but uh, they are great kids, and, and I expect them to work hard, and we're going to fight and battle every minute, every second of every game. There you go. Kid 611 opens the door and walks in tomorrow. You'll welcome him into practice, won't you? Yes. <laughs> uh, you know what? He doesn't have to be 611. <laughs> 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 Greg Lozanic, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thanks, Todd. Have a great day. You too. We'll see you. Let's move on. And Beth Porter is with us this morning talking about community service art projects, the Salvation Army Kettles, the uh, the uh, Matrisic Family Tree Farm and Trees for Troops. Beth, good morning to you. Hi, Todd. How are you doing? Wonderful. Good to have you on the air with us today. you got a lot on the table here, don't you? We do. We've been very busy. We've been trying to utilize this time to the best of our abilities, um, and it's been very rewarding. So I'll start off by introducing Olivia Smathers, who, under the advisement of Dr. Jen Rinkevich, painted the Salvation Army kettle. Oh, wonderful. Hi, Olivia. Hi. Uh, I got an opportunity to be part of the Create a Kettle Challenge, and my kettle features be in some Philadelphia Street, and it'll be in Ninth Street Deli starting today. No, it'll be at 9th Street? Okay, I'm looking across the street. I'm not seeing it from here, Olivia, but I'm trying. I guess I'll have to go get a sandwich and find it, huh? So, so tell me about tell me about the, the, the project. What's it look like? Um, it's just like a kettle that they use like outside of Walmart and stuff that you see. Okay. And I painted like Philadelphia Street around and I put the it's a wonderful life parade going through. There you go. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Congratulations. I, I will go across the street and I'll take a look at it. Thank you. Can't wait to I see it. I think they're inside of the businesses that they're staged at because there's more than one. Several other schools are taking part as well. Oh, okay. All right. So that's the Salvation Army Kettles. Now tell me about the Matrisic Family Tree Farm Mural. Well, I have my um, chairperson of the mural committee here to tell you about that. Her name is Joey Aljo. Okay, Joey, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Uh, is the submarine going under the surface there, or does that bell mean something else? It means something else. Okay, good thing. <laughs> good thing, because um, so I didn't bring my snorkel. The Matrisic, the Matrisic family approached Mrs. Porter about having some of the students from the Portfolio Club here at IHS about painting a mural at their local tree farm. Mm -hmm. uh, after bouncing some ideas off of each other, we decided to paint a steam engine driving through a field of trees. Uh -huh. The building we painted the mural on actually has a model train inside of it, and the students that participated were Gracie Agnello, Emma Kramer, Willie Nass, Ashley Height, and Olivia Stubbe. Okay. Well, tell me about the dimensions of this. Is this a very, very large mural? It's about 6 by 16. Yeah, that's big enough. That's yeah, big it's enough. pretty big. So, so how do you segment it off? Do you say you take this part, you take this part, or does more planning than that go into it? Um, we all kind of just jump in wherever help is needed. Uh huh. And and, and kind of, it's not really. I mean, we organize it, but once you're there, it's not that organized. <laughs> yeah. So this 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 starts out as paper, uh, as something that you that you draw up on a piece of paper or on a yes. computer screen, and then you have to translate that uh, up onto a wall. And and at that size, uh, how do you do that? You use grids. Um, yeah, actually, we did use, like, a very large piece of paper, and we gridded it, and then we, like, used uh, a special type of pencil called an ebony pencil to transfer it onto the wall. Wonderful. Sounds like a lot of fun. It is. Yeah. So how many students were involved in it again? Six of us. Six of you. Six of you. And yes. you're happy with it? You like it? Yes. The experience was very fun. We, we all like making memories with each other. Uh-huh. Uh, did you did you get the opportunity to post it anywhere online, or can, is the only place to see it by going out there? Um, there should be a picture of it in the Gazette today, but uh -huh. we have not posted it on any of our social media sites yet. Okay, well we can all we all know where it is, so we can go out and take a look at it in person too. That's wonderful. Thank all you. Right. Thank you. All righty, Beth. Anything else we need to pass along to folks this morning? Nope, I think that covers just about all of it. Just a reminder that the Matrisics Farm will be having a 5K this Saturday, and even if you're not participating in the 5K, you're welcome to come out and see us doing the finishing touches on the mural 
on Saturday morning. There you go. Wonderful. Well, thank you for being with us, and thanks to everybody from Indiana High for the visit this morning. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Have a great day today. You too. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160. AM 1160. AM 1160. AM 1160.